Shut her down. What the f Got a Malibu hybrid with a weird noise. Every time the engine shuts down or regens. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a belt squeal noise. Well, let's find out what that is. So here we are under the hood, and I'm kind of thinking, well, is it that water pump belt? It's a stretch belt, because I can't understand how we are getting a squeal noise related to the hybrid system. Either the engine turns on or the regeneration comes on, so. It's kind of a weird noise and it's going to be really hard to find because, hey, you can't duplicate it unless you drive it. Shut her down. What the f Here's what I do know. I use my stethoscope and I listened and the noise is loudest at the crankshaft balancer, not the water pump. And when I spray water on the belt, it doesn't make any difference either. And here's what's really weird is that when we shut the engine down, the noise continues for about one to two seconds, which is definitely strange and probably not gonna be related to the water pump belt. So maybe I need to look at crankshaft or uh, crankcase pressure. Maybe there's a, that front crankshaft seal has a suction and it's making a reed effect. Yeah, that's what I thought. We've got a serious amount of vacuum on the crankcase. Originally, I posted a short video and I wanted to see if anybody could guess the noise while I was awaiting parts and I got a comment Tim Lambert was actually the first correct guess so good job Tim okay so it's several weeks later because I had to wait for parts the only place that we can have a massive amount of suction on the crankcase is from the PCB system this is the intake manifold. We have a high amount of vacuum here. So this high vacuum is somehow making it internally to the engine and causing that horrible noise. So inside of this valve cover is the PCB assembly. There's a valving and all that. That kind of restricts and regulates the amount of vacuum that is allowed on the system so that any crankcase vapors can be sucked into the intake and recirculated and any any unburnt fuel or volatile oil compounds or whatever can be burned and not just let straight out into the atmosphere. So the fix is to replace the entire valve cover assembly. This fuel pipe is going to have to be taken off and replaced. You must not reuse that. You cannot reuse that. The fuel rail has to be removed. You need the special tool to do that. I'm not really going to show any of that because it's fairly obvious and if you had access to the special tools you probably also have access to the procedure. It's pretty simple. It's just a valve cover. I don't really need to waste your time with that. Again, here's the intake manifold. Here's the corresponding holes for the PCB system, so you would have a high amount of vacuum here during engine running. Here's what it looks like on the valve cover side, the same two holes. I don't see anything obvious wrong here, so I might take this off and just get a peek inside. But this is not offered separately, you have to replace the entire cover. So, taking this part out, Again, 
nothing obvious. I don't know if that thing's sticking out as normal, but it is spring-loaded. I'm not really willing to take the new one apart to inspect it. Maybe I could pop this cover off here and see if the, something ruptured inside there, but there's nothing obvious. Here's the injector tools, the bridge to hold all of this together, hold your injectors together, and to remove the whole unit as one. You do not want to attempt this without the tool because you could damage these really expensive injectors. Slide hammers to remove it as shown before. You would also need the correct tools to replace all of these seals. Do not want to reuse those seals. Again, not really going to show any of that because if you have the tools, you also probably have the instructions. Okay, so here we got injectors with new compression seals. Here's the old ones. Here's the stainless bolts that you need to replace also that go right here. One time use, replace them. Okay, so everything's reassembled other than the engine cover I left off just for a moment. Uh, brand new valve cover, new fuel pipe. We've got new bolts and seals on the injectors and we no longer have a heavy amount of suction on the crankcase. So looks like we're all fixed. Okay, so real quick, in summary, we had a squeal noise that at first sounded like a belt noise and then we brought it back to the shop and decided that it was most likely not a belt noise because the noise would continue to one to sec one to two seconds after the belt would stop even moving. So we went for crankcase pressure, found a serious vacuum on the crankcase, and that could only mean one thing. We have a faulty PCB diaphragm inside the valve cover. Went ahead and replaced that, as you saw, and we are all good.